The Cradle, 13th of June 2023, Fixing the American Problem Made Possible by Pakistan, China, Iran, and Pakistan Joint Forces to Protect Afghanistan. Pakistan engaged in double dealing and contributed to the United States defeat in the conflict with the Afghan Taliban. Beijing, Tehran, and Islamabad know that Pakistan created terrorism in nearby Afghanistan must be resolved to achieve their shared aim of peaceful development and extended Asian trade routes. China, Pakistan, and Iran had their first ever trilateral security dialogue last week in Beijing. The meeting was held in light of recent border clashes between Afghanistan and Iran and the Taliban government's resistance to taking action against militant organizations operating within its borders. Geopolitical analysts predict that the talks will create a new regional security and trade paradigm involving China, Iran, Pakistan, and Afghanistan, despite Pakistani officials' insistence that the dialogue is meant to address local security issues rather than serve as an Afghan affairs watchdog to fill the gap left by the U.S. troop withdrawal in 2021. Terrorist threats are coming from Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Iran on a trilateral basis. The three countries all support terrorism. According to a source in Pakistan's foreign office, China, Pakistan, and Iran are among the nations that are deeply concerned about the recent spike in terrorist strikes in Afghanistan. The Tariqi Taliban Pakistan TTP, East Turkestan Islamic Movement ETIM, al organization, and the Islamic State Khorasan are primarily responsible for the commission of terrorist acts in the region. According to the source, the three countries have stepped up their diplomatic contact with the Taliban leadership to address security concerns and advance stability in Afghanistan. While security may be front of mind, Andrew Koribko, a geopolitical expert stationed in Moscow, has a different perspective. Passing the commercial route between China and Iran through Kashmir, under Pakistani control, may worry India's arch rival. Beijing can reach this long-term result in trilateral negotiations with Iran and Pakistan. There is no better time than now. Several synergies between Islamabad and Tehran have recently been found, increasing trade between the two countries. The deterioration of their relations with the Taliban coincides with the development of Iran-Pakistani relations. Conflicts along the Afghan-Iranian border have intensified over a long-running water issue, and Pakistan has threatened military action against Kabul over its sheltering of TTP militants. Last month, when their leaders jointly opened the man Bashin border market and agreed to pursue future collaborative projects, Iranian and Pakistani relations saw a significant improvement. This change resulted from the Chinese-mediated Iranian-Saudi reconciliation in mid-March, which Korib argues settled Pakistan's security problem and provided it room to pursue more balanced relations with Iran. Conversely, China has maintained cordial and business-oriented ties with the Taliban, making it perhaps the most suitable middleman to mediate trade and security issues. Beijing's first aim will be to stop any unexpected cross-border militancy from endangering the reconciliation between Iran and Pakistan, as both countries are essential to China's Belt and Road Initiative BRI. China has promised to invest $400 billion in Iran over the next 25 years as part of its Strategic Cooperation Agreement for 2021. Pakistan is home to the BRI's flagship project the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor CPEC. The first-ever trilateral anti-terrorist talks involving China, Iran, and Pakistan took place last week in this intricate security setting. Security of the Iran-Pakistan Border When the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, dismantled an armed terrorist cell close to the Pakistani border in the Saravan district of Iran Sistan and Baluchistan province, at least five Iranian security personnel were murdered. Iran afterwards asserted that the criminal fled to Pakistani territory. Similarly, Pakistan's army has lost soldiers near the tumultuous Afghan border over the years. There have been several assaults on each country's security services due to accusations between Iran and Pakistan of hosting militants close to their controlled borders. To safeguard its interests, China, which has a significant stake in the Balochistan region, particularly the strategically positioned seaport in Gwadar, has a vested interest in bringing about peace. China's aspirations depend on Iran and Pakistan working together to combat extremists sheltering the border region. The security talks in Beijing was a step towards China's goal of creating a peaceful regional business environment to extend its ambitious BRI through Central Asia, West Asia, and Africa, according to Mansour Khan Masud, head of the Islamabad-based Fatah Research Center (FRC) think tank. 
China faces several difficulties as a new participant in regional politics. Even though the U.S.'s exit from the region left a massive gap that needed to be filled, the U.S. and its allies, who stayed in the game for a long time and used regional politics to further their interests, still had covert forces on the ground that could influence several Taliban strongholds to undermine the trade-focused Beijing's ambitions. Pro-U.S. elements sowed discord among Iran, Pakistan, and the Taliban administration. In contrast to Iran, which has experienced deadly border confrontations and deaths over water rights, Pakistan narrowly avoided going to war with the Taliban over the DTP problem. Mossad raises more concerns about the rapid U.S. exit from Afghanistan, which he views as questionable. He argues that the Pentagon's abrupt recognition of the cost to the U.S. economy following decades of involvement casts doubt on the reasons for the hurried withdrawal. Despite having a weak industrial basis and little to no international help, he argues, Afghanistan's economy is still functioning well compared to its more industrialized neighbor, Pakistan, adding that this indicates Afghanistan is receiving enormous sums of money from someplace. Who is funding the Taliban, and for what purpose specifically? A four-sided security mechanism Beijing has aggressively used a similar strategy with Pakistan and Afghanistan since late 2018, given that reliable trade expansion cannot occur without security. The foreign ministers of China, Pakistan, and Afghanistan met in Islamabad in May this year. They agreed to collaborate to put Xi Jinping's global development, global security, and global civilization initiatives into practice. At the conference, the three top diplomats emphasized the significance of ongoing projects like CASA 1000, TAPI, and Trans-Afghan Railways, underlining their potential to enhance regional connectivity and promote economic growth and prosperity. Iran, Russia, China, and Pakistan's foreign ministers met in Samarkand, Uzbekistan, in April to discuss issues and worries about Afghanistan. In a joint statement issued after the trilateral discussion, Pakistan, China, and Afghanistan reaffirmed their commitment. It expressed its determination to use Afghanistan's potential as a hub for regional connectivity to advance trilateral cooperation under the BRI and jointly expand the CPEC to Afghanistan. China seems to be one of the region's most promising agents for fostering regional stability and growth, according to a 2016 Asia Foundation assessment on security cooperation in the heart of Asia region. Due to its constructive participation in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization SCO, and the trilateral agreement between Afghanistan, Pakistan, and China, it is also a strong backer of regional players, particularly Afghanistan. Iran is expected to join the SCO as an official member when the upcoming summit meets. Furthermore, despite claims from some Western media outlets that China's primary goals are limited to economic concerns, its role in the world has been continuously growing. Beijing has taken on a new role in the region due to its active involvement in numerous trilateral or quadrilateral stability and security conferences focused on Afghanistan. According to the paper, China's participation in the heart of Asia process might increase and broaden its influence within these frameworks. The report also notes that, despite significant differences between the participating countries, the trilateral framework in general, and the Afghanistan, Iran, and Pakistan trilateral systems in particular, have frequently been seen as potential solutions to the most urgent problems in the region. Since 2009, trilateral engagements involving Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Iran have sought to strengthen cooperation across political, security, socio-economic, and cultural areas, concurrent with negotiations within the Economic Cooperation Organization ECO. However, the predominance of bilateral interactions among the member countries slightly undermines this organization's trilateral nature. The report concludes that the government primarily communicates directly with Pakistan and Iran rather than making entirely beneficially, use platforms. China's strong participation within the trilateral framework indicates its commitment to regional peace and security as it continues to rise globally and establish itself as a vital mediator in geopolitical crises. As a result, there is a chance that an atmosphere of peace, advancement, and prosperity can be fostered throughout Asia.